Hey you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a walkthrough of my 2019 Week in the Life album. So I'm super excited to be able to share this one with you guys because it is a completed album. So one more I can add to my shelf that is done. So super happy about that. So as we get started looking into the album, I just wanted to apologize that I do not have more process videos showing you how I actually put this album together, but you know, I kind of started doing it and then what ended up happening is I would just work on this album a little at a time as I had some time and then the big bulk of it where I was doing some hand journaling and then adding photos to this album. I actually was in the living room with my family as they were watching a movie. I was kind of working on this. So it didn't really work out that I was um, you know, able to do a process video, but I will walk you through all the things that I did and you know, if there's anything that is a little bit less obvious. I will show you how I did that. But for the most part, it was just filling in the pockets with photos and uh, some journaling and a little bit of embellishments. All right, so to get started with this album, I made a uh, transparency and I actually did not have the kit from Allie Edwards this year, but I did have the digital files. So you'll see how I use those digital files. And this is the transparency that came, it didn't come in the kit, but it was one of the supplies that she offered. And it was the star pattern. I just went ahead and I printed it on this transparency that I can put in my laser printer. I could have kept it yellow if I was, you know, if I had the transparency that you could put in the inkjet, but I just wanted it to be black against this 2019. And I really wanted it to stand out. So that's why I went ahead and I just printed it on black. And then this 2019 is actually one of the, if you get Allie Edwards Story by the Month kit, she offers some other supplies that you can purchase every month. And so this 2019 was one of them. And I didn't know how I was gonna use it, but I snagged it and I'm really glad that I did because I love it being the opener. And then I just have a chipboard that came randomly in one of her kits. All right, so then the first page that we come to, this is something that I've done in all of my week, the majority of my Week in the Life albums, I should say, where I have our name, our age, and just a little bit about what we are, you know, in enjoying right now and what we are doing. I actually looked at last year's to see if anything was similar, if anything was different. I actually could have just copy and pasted mine and had the exact same thing, but I wanted to add some different things. So I tried to get a variety of things, but you know, especially with the girls, if something was the same, um, like, you know, Megan dancing, I wanted to showcase that she was dancing because next year she might not be. So um, I wanted to make sure and do some things that were similar, but definitely mix it up. And then to finish off this card, I repeated, I used this stamp set from Allie Edwards that came in the Stories by the Month kit in January. So I think it came out, this is the January themed one, so I think it came out in December. And I um, just stamped the Celebrate onto a tag, and then I did some repeat stamping right onto the white of this Life right now that's kind of a lighter blue. Hopefully you can see it, I think you can see it pretty good. And then um, I used, Another stamp set, I can't find it right now, but it's an older Week in the Life stamp set. I think it came out like way back in 2015. It says, this is our life. I just stamped it onto the Honeyman ink. I love that color of ink. That's Allie Edwards' new ink color. And I have just been in love with these little tags that Elizabeth, is it Heinz or Hence? I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but she's so inspirational and I have loved these little tags that she added in Week in the Life and some of her other projects and so I was thought, you know, that would be a great place to add a little tag there. And then on the back side is a photo of all of us. So this was a goal to make sure I got a photo of all of us this week and I definitely did. This is a five by seven photo and I didn't want to punch any holes actually in the photo because um, I knew that it would probably cut into my face. So I just added a washi tape on to the edge there. And then is the first full page photo that I used. And I used this um, quote from Allie Edwards that came right on her blog that is available and I will link to it below so you can download it if 
that's something that you want to use as well. I need to actually reprint this photo. You can see that it doesn't go all the way to the top and it really, really bugs me. So I'm just going to reprint it, but I'm having some issue with my large printer. So um, I'm waiting on that. On the back side of that, I have my schedule. This is something that I just took a screenshot of on my iPad and then just went ahead and printed that out. This isn't 100% accurate. Some things were added as the week went on. I think I took this screenshot Monday about 11. I think it shows you right here uh, when I took the screenshot, but I just like how it gives an overall of, of our week. And then we are starting the week off with a transparency, or excuse me, starting the day off with transparency. This is something that I actually created. Um, I tried and failed a couple of times, but I was able to figure it out. I will have a process video. I was gonna say, I don't know if this video will be out first or if I will do the process video for this, but um, I'll probably have this walkthrough out first. So look for this coming up. It'll be out in the next day or two. I just need to edit it. It's not hard to do, but it does take a little bit of time, but totally, totally worth it. So then this Monday is actually a digital file that came in the kit. She had those really cute cork uh, days of the week and I just went ahead and I used that file, cut it out with my silhouette and I stacked a couple on top of each other. So there was a little bit of dimension there and then I have a full page photo I used the digital file also this came from Allie Edwards templates that she put came out with this year this is supposed to be a uh, totally white and black but because I didn't want that white to be so stark I decided to change the opacity of just the white color there and then um, just added that right onto my photo and then on the back side, you can see there's another large photo and then I just added some chipboard. So because I didn't use, I didn't buy a kit, I really wanted to use a lot of the supplies that I have been collecting over time. So I have got a huge stash of chipboard and I just had them all over my desk and just kind of were, were looking through all of them to see what would be best, you know, for the days. I just had a lot of fun playing with my embellishments and kind of gathering my embellishments that I had been collecting. Overall though, I would say I probably would have rather bought the kit just to make it a little bit easier on myself, but I am grateful that I um, used up some of my supplies. All right, so the next is my, my text, and I did all of my text in one, um, on one page and I do have a process video showing you how I created this with these the the alley has these Monday days of the week dies and so I have a process video showing you that I will definitely have it linked below and then I added the date actually with one of the Avery tabs now I first started adding the date underneath but I did not like it so Monday is the only day that has that date there and then I have the days of the week for the other days and I tried to color coordinate the stamping with the color that I did for the transparency so I was debating about whether or not I should try and cover this up but I decided just to leave it it's not that big of a deal so on the back side I was totally inspired by Allie Edwards adding some florals to her album I just I just loved it it just because it's so graphic, I just thought it added such a great different layer and dimension to the album. So I thought, you know what? I have a ton of stamps that have florals and I decided to play with them. So I grabbed out most of the, I think everything that I used, and I will, of course, I will show you all of them, but all of the flowers or the florals that I used came from Altenew. So I've just been collecting them over time buying things when they've been on sale and the inks I used for these were all to new as well. So I just absolutely love how this turned out. Now, this is probably really subtle, so I'm gonna see if I can show you. There is a background. I stamped a very light background pattern and it is a, a dot pattern if you can see there. And again, that is just a large stamp that I used. In fact, it's right here. It's from Altenew. It's called Dainty Swiss Dots. 
And I also used um, the diagonal one that came from Altenew as well. So um, you might not be able to see them, but there is a subtle background. I stamped that with Simon Says Stamp Fogging because it is so light, because I just wanted it to be really subtle. And you can definitely see it in real life. It's just, it is pretty subtle from so far away from the camera. All right, so then the next page is one of the four up three by four page protectors. And this that I made, I always love having transparencies and I seem to do this in every album and I probably won't ever stop. But these transparencies, this is also a digital file that I used. I printed them out on vellum and I used my silhouette. I just used the print and cut option on my silhouette and cut those out just so they had a really good cut. And then I adhered it to this transparency. So I actually ended up buying a couple items on Allie's website that were week in the life related because um, I can't remember, there was something else that I needed to get. And so I grabbed the transparencies, even though I had already made transparencies and I grabbed like some stickers or something like that. These hearts, were not a part of the main kit. They were sold out. So this is an option. If there is something sold out, there is an option to get the digital version and you can create it yourself. Again, I just did this with an inkjet printer and vellum and it turned out really good. This Monday Stories, I found this in my stash. This is some word fairy stickers. I want to say that it looks like it came from a week in the life kit because there's a lot of week in the life type stuff like everyday life, hello real life, currently, those sorts of things. So I'm thinking this came in a past kit and I just used, um, they had a day of the week that said, you know, Monday story, Tuesday story. So I just added it right on top of um, the staple that I used to staple on the heart with. And I didn't finish telling you, but I bought this transparency from Allie's website and I cut them up and you'll see how I use them throughout. So that is an option as well. If you have some extra transparencies, you can cut them up and use them in your album. And you'll see that repeated throughout um, every day. And that, that's a one thing that you'll see. I definitely have a formula and I definitely repeat a lot of things, even though like the florals will be different, the colors will be different. Everything, a lot of things are repeated just to keep the album cohesive. All right, so then just three more photos. I did not do anything on the back side. I didn't feel like I needed to. And then I do have some word phrase stickers. So again, I just went through my stash and there was a ton of word phrase stickers and I just pulled from um, what I had. Then I have one of the two by two square page protectors. I cut off one of the columns so that just has the two columns. And what I ended up doing is I have a two by two photo. So I have three photos and then I did a, the timestamp. This is a stamp that came from Allie Edwards. Let me see if I can find it. This is the timestamp that Allie put out. I can't remember if it was in a kit or she bought it separate. If you can buy it now, I'll look for it on her website and link it below. But I love this timestamp option. And so I just did the timestamp and then just wrote a little bit of journaling about each photo and you know what was going on during that time. And I did that for every single day. And then I just outlined it. And I got this idea from, I saw this on Pinterest, not yeah, from Pinterest. If I remember it while I'm walking you through this, I will, I will let you know. But I, I saw that she did something similar and I thought that that was a great option to add a little bit more photos to the album. And then again, just adding some chipboard and then this wood veneer camera actually came from, I think it was last month's or May's story by the month kit. So it was the June themed stories by the month kit. And there's a couple of them that I added to this album. And this life I think came in a previous week in the life that I hadn't used. And then again, I have three more photos and three more bits of journaling on the back there. And then I have the two pocket or four by six photos, two of those with just some added random bits of um, embellishments. 
Again, I just went through my stash and grabbed a whole bunch of stuff that I had that I could then uh, choose from. Well, it looks like this one did not get, I think I was probably debating about whether or not I wanted to put that there, that embellishment there. I didn't want to add too much embellishments, but I wanted to add enough. So I, I think that one just did not get adhered down. So a couple more photos. You can see that some of my photos will have borders and some of them won't. I just did that completely randomly, no rhyme or reason. So the next page um, I wanted to include, I actually had this map already printed out from December daily, actually. It's been sitting on my desk and around my desk since December. And my goal was for December daily, I was actually gonna do a story about the last week um, or the week of Christmas and just how many errands I ran and all the places that I went to around town because I went to a ton of places that last week. But I ended up telling two different stories and so I didn't use this and I thought, you know what, I can use this in my week in the life and um, write down all the places that we went. And so I just have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, all the days of the week, all the places that I went and I actually did do a time uh, it's not something that you would have to do. Originally, I just had a list of all the places that we went, but I like the idea of having the time with it as well. And it even has the time that I got home each night. So I really loved including this. I did not mark, I was actually gonna take all of the places that we went and mark them on the calendar, but I chose not to do that, especially being hometown. And I know that maybe some of these places could uh, potentially go out of business or something like that, but I just decided I wasn't gonna mark it up, but I will do probably, I have these little stars here. I probably will add a little star on some of them and especially on our house, I'll probably add a little wood veneer star on um, where we actually live. But I didn't, I didn't do that yet because I wanna keep that private. So I'll do that off camera after I've taken all the pictures. And then I created this, this is a digital file from Allie Edwards. I just cut this out with my silhouette. I'm trying to think, I think I've got the negative here somewhere. Oh yeah, here it is. Here's the negative that I cut from it. This actually helped me be able to adhere these all in the correct spot. I only cut it out once, so I didn't, you know, it's not thicker, but I just really love how that works there. So I will also link that digital file because that would be good for travel albums. And then I decided not to put anything on the back side. Then I've got two full photos, and this is the stickers that I bought from the kit this year. These are puffy stickers, it says Monday. I wasn't 100% sure if I loved how these turned out. I think it was because I couldn't figure out, the. I needed something else and I couldn't figure out what it was. Um, but I just decided to go with a puffy star that I had in my stash there. And then another photo on the back side. And the photos on the back side, I all have quotes on all of them. So you'll see that on every single day. All right, so now I'm starting Tuesday and you'll see that the formula is the exact same way. And I've said this before in some of my other Week in the Life videos. I like to stick with the formula because it really helps me to be able to get it done faster helps me to figure out what photos uh, I want to use, and I just like the consistency. So again, I have another transparency. This one I used, I should show you the inks, let's see. Um, I used all of Allie Edwards inks. I think this was Olympia, maybe. This is kind of the, that blue, that muted bluish color. I guess it's bluish greenish kind of a teal color then another full photo you can see I've got the digital and I didn't feel like I needed these always to be like in the middle so you can see some of them are and some of them aren't then on the back side is another full page photo and I tried to do like a larger transparent or larger chipboard on um, all of these larger photos and then again I've got my journaling and I've got the date here you can see it looks a little bit better without having that like black date there. And then on the back side, I don't have any florals because the journaling went all the way to the bottom. And then again, I've just got my three by four photos. I've got this transparency that I created. 
So I loved these hearts. They were all different colors. I thought that that was great, but if you wanted, you could do them, you know, all the same color. And also this transparent, this is another transparency from the transparencies that came in the week in the life supplies this year. It didn't come in the kit. You could have bought it extra. This was the polka dot. So I thought that was a lot of fun. And you'll see more. I use, I cut up the transparencies and used them on some of the, some of these uh, two by two pockets also. And then here's the back side. You can see that some photos have some word phrase stickers and some do not. Some I left just so there would be some resting places. I want to need to adhere this down. So again, I've got my two by two photos and then I've got my little bits of journaling with my timestamp. And then I added a heart here that came from my stash. And then I actually, this is probably hard to see. I have the star transparency that I cut down. So it has the yellow stars and I left it blank. I didn't have any embellishment in there. And as I was going through, I was like, oh, I need to add something. And on my table, I have some of these felt numbers that I printed um, during uh, December daily and, and it ended up like working out really great. It like matches the stars. Not that you would have to do that, but it matches the stars. So I went ahead and I did a two for a Tuesday. So I don't do that on every day, but it just happened to work out there. And then more photos. And then again, some four by six photos. And this one I decided to do some journaling on. And I think this is the only photo I did some journaling. I'm, I can't remember why I decided to do it on this and not any of the others. But as I was going through my album, I kind of wish I had added a little bit more journaling on some of them just to give some of the photos context. Anyway, I think this is the only photo that actually has some journaling on there. Again, another puppy um, sticker that Tuesday. I really liked those stickers that came that you could buy separately this year. And then another large photo with the quote. This is a quote that someone said during the week there. Then starting on Wednesday, this is the new pink ink that Allie came out with. I should have the inks here so I know what the names are. I really love the new colors that she came out with and this was one of them. And then just a large photo. That's me, like right after I woke up, looking out the window, wondering if it was gonna be a rainy day. And then another large photo of my daughter. And again, just going through my stash, I think I used, I pulled out a chipboard set from the story kit home and I used a lot of those. I love the triangles, but I also really love the sentiments. You can see on the back of Wednesday, I have a floral. This came from the beautiful day set from all to new and their inks. And then I just have a subtle pattern on the back side of that. And then some more three by four photos. Again, some have borders and some do not. One thing that I really loved is that I included this um, weather, I guess this was a screenshot from my phone and I, I wish I had included more stuff like this. I know that a lot of people I saw were adding that cute little phone pad that came in one of Allie. I think it was the tech kit was the phone pad. And I didn't, I didn't do that, but I think that that is a great option because I wish I had taken more screenshots or just had a little bit more ephemera in here. But, um, I think this is maybe the only one that is definitely a goal of mine is to do like a week in the life album with just ephemera you know, and some words, of course, some photos, but a lot of ephemera from the week and what I have collected. So we'll see if I actually get to that. Then I've got some more um, three by four photos. And then again, you can see I've got pink, pink, pink. I don't know that I intentionally did that. Like this is yellow, <laughs> but um, it just ended up working out that way. Anyway, I've got some more two by two photos and the date stamps or the time stamps there. I really loved having this. This is one of the things that I did while watching a movie with my family. I just wrote up the journaling and did the stamping. 
then on the back side again just adding a little bit of embellishments on the back side there and you can see also here I've got uh, the transparency that I cut up that came in the that was one of the things you could have bought this year so I just loved how subtle that was and just added a wood veneer star more four by six photos and then a little bit more chipboard there all right, so the next thing that I did, I don't know if I said this in any of my videos, but one of the things that I was wanting to do, and I did that with the map here, I wanted to add stories every, like one story every day that had something to do with the entire week. So here's the story about where we went, right? And then I added a story that is all about, you know, the stuff that I counted this week, I've got loads of laundry, times I got in the car, miles I traveled, days I exercised, photos I took, cups of water, days without sugar, I did pretty good, times I ate out, and then times it rained, because it seemed to rain a ton, but I only have three down, I think that was three days, not like three times. Anyway, um, you can see that I have this... Uh, tab that I did not finish I got to finish that so anyway I just created this by printing this out and then used Allie Edwards inks look how great her color inks look together I just absolutely love them I used the numbers that I used here this came from the pieces story kit pieces and the numbers in the stamp set I guess I should say it's the stamp set for pieces so I really love the shape of those numbers so I used those there the this week actually is a little alpha die set that I got from Studio, or Simon Says Stamp a long time ago or last year sometime. So I just used that and uh, adhered those down. I feel like this is I'm not missing something, but I feel like I need to add something. So what I might do is do a border, kind of like what I did for these cards here. It just felt like it needed some grounding and this feels like it needs a little bit of something. So I might add a black border to the outside and I also need to finish that there. And then I don't have any plans to do anything on the back side. Again, those puffy stickers on the large photo and then I've got a quote there. Starting off Thursday again with the transparency and then a large photo. This is actually the photo I took as I was leaving my massage probably at like 7 or 645 because I had a massage at 5 a.m. in the morning you guys. Only time I could get in and I was totally desperate. And then another large photo with the chipboard. I've got my journaling here. And then I don't have a floral because the journaling went all the way to the bottom. More three by four photos. And again, you can see that I did the red heart here to kind of go with all the bits of red. And then more uh, phrase stickers, more two by two photos. Love being able to use my huge stash of chipboards. Again, this is another wood veneer that came in the June story. Well, it was the May stories by the month kit, but it was the June themed. And then this real life is actually a sticker that, that was one of the stickers that I could buy. It came in the pack with um, the puffy stickers, these puffy stickers. This actually came with those. They are transparent stickers. And I did like them, but I'm gonna show you, cause you can't even tell. I added it to one of them to a photo. I think it was in the beginning. I don't know if you can see that very well, but I added the sticker to a photo and you, you can't even see it. So these would work a lot better on a light photo, something that was light. Unfortunately, a lot of my photos were dark. So I used um, some of these against some of the the lighter pattern paper that I had. Again, some more photos, more four by sixes, and then another large photo. Love that the floor, the flowers and the blossoms were still out during this week. All right, so to Friday, we're almost done, you guys. 
again more i just loved how these turned out you guys like it made me super happy and there's just so many options if you think that you can uh, create you know begin to create your own and then adding that digital stamp there and then another large photo on the back sorry i can see that there's little bits of pieces on that my journaling and then another floral I can't remember what this stamp set is called, maybe Majestic Bloom or something like that. But just added that there. More three by four photos. And then some more two by two photos, just little bits of um, some embellishments there. Some word phrase stickers. more four by six photos and then large photos super fun to be able to like look at this album completed because i just love 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 how it turned out this is actually a photo that my daughter took when she was with some friends and she sent it to me so i added it really loved adding it to the album all right so saturday again starting with the transparency and the large photo Thought this was hilarious i got a ton of photos of her yawning and then another large photo of me working in my studio the journaling and then some more florals three by four photos this one has the star transparency i think you can see that a little bit better I like mixing the borders and the non-borders. I think that that works really well. Or at least I do. I think that. I like that. Oh, I need to adhere that down there. This is an example of using those stickers. So I put, I just put the sticker onto, um, I think it was a clear transparency. Or it could have been, you know how I cut off the edge, I cut off one of the columns here. I think I might have cut that up and then I had a square that I could stick that sticker onto and just put it right into the pocket. So that's an option as well. You could use those stickers. You could actually, that'd be really cute to do a, um, like a three by four, stick a whole bunch of stickers on there and make your own transparency. Ooh, maybe I will do that for um like my project life because i still have those stickers that's a really good option or idea and then more two by twos i don't know if i already said that here's another one of those stickers you can see it a little bit better because uh, you've got you know it's a lighter color the picture is a little bit lighter some more four by six photos and then here's another one of those stories. So this was basically uh, gratitude or it says May Joys. This, this came from the May Stories by the Month kit or the May themed Stories by the Month kit. Um, this is all, you know, things that brought me joy or things that I was grateful for during the week. And I was going to do like gratitude up here, but when I saw this chipboard, I thought that that went really well. And I also want to do a tab here that I, I guess, forgot to do. So here's just a list of those things. So again, I actually had planned on doing a story every day. Remember, uh, it was back on Wednesday, I think, where I did this which was the things that I counted. I did, like I said, I wanted to have an extra story every day, but I ended up just doing those three. So the map, the things that I counted, and then the gratitude or the joys from this week. And then again, I'm not adding anything to the back side. I'm just gonna leave it blank. I could put some pattern paper, but at this point it's done, right? We're gonna just let it be done. Another sticker. And then another quote there. Always looking for opportunity where I can take a photo in a mirror. So that is a, actually a reflection with my daughter and her friend in the background. They were actually cleaning. I just love being able to, to find new ways to take pictures. And then the last one, we are at a Sunday. You guys, sorry this is so long, but hopefully you're enjoying it. 
Another large photo. Love that photo of my kids. And then my journaling. We've got some more florals on the back. That's another a flower that I used already. You'll probably recognize that. More three by fours. Then some more. One of the things that I realized is, uh, I don't know if it was just on Sunday. It seemed like on Sunday, there was more people picking up my camera and taking pictures. Like um, Megan was taking these pictures of us. And then the kids here are taking pictures in the car when we were driving. And then, oh yeah, they picked up my camera at my um, mom's house and they were taking selfies and then I jumped in. And then there's another one of me and Megan. There was a whole bunch of those. So I felt like there was a lot of uh, photos. There was a lot of photos that ended up on Sunday that ended up being selfies. Okay, sorry about that. My camera just stopped recording there. But anyway, there ended up being a lot of selfies from Sunday. And I don't know if it was a combination of everyone was pretty ready for the week in life or the photos to stop being taken, myself included. Although I love this project, by the end of the week I am pretty much done with taking photos. So I don't know if that had something to do with it, but they... It was just fun to have them pick up the camera. In fact, um, I ended up with a photo of my brother on my camera too, which I thought was kind of funny. More 4 by 6 photos. And then I'm ending the day with a large photo, and I just realized this did not get finished. So I need to adhere this on. This is a die cut that I have from Simon Says Stamp. And I was actually going to put it on that May Joys, the one that had May Joy. But... I decided to end the day like that and you can see here on the back I actually don't have oh I have a Mother's Day card that's right I was gonna try to put the Mother's Day card in here and I had it in a page um, I had it in a page protector a four a five by seven page protector and then it ended up getting wrecked because I had to punch out holes so it would fit in the three hole punch and I ended up ruining it so uh, anyways, I just decided to put it in the back in the back here. So I've just got that card that my husband made for me. So anyway, you guys, that is it for my Week in the Life album 2019. I really loved how this worked out. Super happy with it. But most of all, I'm just really happy that I have it done and that I can put it on my shelf 100% uh, 100% finished. So Anyway, you guys, hopefully you are working on your albums as well. And I hope that this video provided some inspiration from you or you just enjoyed looking through somebody else's album. I know that I really enjoy seeing how other people are using um, similar supplies. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much again for being here. I know that there's a lot of other things that you could be doing, but I really appreciate you joining me and you guys we will catch you in the next video